Step number six is installing our trigger into the lower. But we want to get to this point. You, this, is, this is not going to be how your trigger comes in the lower parts kit. So let's figure this out. We're going to start off with our spring here. We want this little piece right under here. So consider that as you put this on. You, you won't ruin it if you put it on wrong, but there's step one. Get our spring on right there. Now you're going to have a, another, uh, this is for your disconnector. This little spring, one side is bigger than the other side. You want that bigger side to go down into the hole. There's a little cutout for it right there. It's a little bigger because you have to jam it in there and it's gonna, the tension of the side is gonna hold it in there. Then our disconnector, that's, that little cutout right there is for the spring. And this is gonna line up. And then we're gonna put in a slave pin. Now, if you don't have a slave pin, you can make one by just using a regular trigger pin, getting a bolt cutter, cut it in half. It's worth it because that keeps all this together for you. Now we're going to drop this in. We want it to line up with this hole right here. Now, personally what I do, I'll take another trigger pin and load it in. Load it in on the gun's right hand side. Again, kind of like a slave pin, just, just a placeholder. Just keep it, just keep it held in there. And then I always, always, always recommend using either anti-walk and or anti-rotation pins just to save your receiver. You want, if you imagine this is going through there on the inside, you want your trigger rotating around your trigger pin Without the anti-rotate device, the whole pin rotates, and the more rotation you get with the tension of these springs against the receiver, it's going to warp that hole over time, and it's going to ruin your receiver. So this is a great investment that will allow you to pass this firearm down the generations. Line this thing up. You always want to go... So you'll see on the trigger pin, there's a groove side and an ungroove side. You always want to put start by going ungroove side in from the gun's left-hand side, from the left going to the right. We're going to wind it up, kind of push things in there. It's got to line up really well. We're almost there. The slave pin is out. Okay, so we got that pushed in all the way. Now before I put... Before I put the extra screw on the other side of this trigger pin, we're going to install this safety selector. Maybe not even install it. We're going to put it in place though, because it's easier to put in now than to come back later. Okay, so that's in. Let's install, and I can turn this around. Make an adjustment here. So we're just going to install this right here. And once we got that started, we'll take and block the other side. And finish tightening that bad boy up. All right, trigger is installed which is step number six selector is almost installed which is step number seven we'll go and combine these two steps all we got to do for this ambidextrous version is line everything up here and 
this side screwed on nice and tight too. Again, you don't want that thing falling off. Boom. Now Ambi selector is installed as well. So there's steps number six and seven.